Okay, Ron Shavu Aperk Bet Mishnah Dalit. Um, the, 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 the only way to understand this Mishnah is to go back to, we started in the last Mishnah talking about a par elam davar shel, shel pibur. If you remember, we learned the last Mishnah. If you don't, go back to the last Mishnah. It's a korban that the, the, that the Sanhedrin has to bring if they make an, an, an erroneous ruling in the Sanhedrin to permit an isur that you chayav on a karet or mitad beit. Okay? So, so we learn in the Mishnah, we learn there that you're not chayav, the beitin is not chayav, a paralel Mishnah of Rashi Tzibur, on a lot asay of the Mikdash, on an asay, a lot asay of the Beit HaMikdash, but chayavin al asay ve'a lot asay she'binida. But they are chayav if they issue an erroneous ruling about a lot asay or an asay with regard to hilchot nida. Okay? So, Mishnah here says, Ezehi mitzvah asay she'binida. What is the mitzvah asay that from the nida if they make a mistake? Prosh min hamida, min hanida. Separate yourself from the nida. We'll see what that is. Mitzvah lot asay, lot avel hanida. In the mitzvah lot asay, a person may not uh, have have sexual relations with the woman when she's a nida. So now our Mishnah is gonna is a continuation in Mishnah Dalit. Our Mishnah, our Mishnah Dalit, a continuation of the last Mishnah where we said, okay, zui mitzvah asay should be mikdash. So this this the if it, if the beitin remember we learned if the beitin told the person to go the long way. That's a mitzvah says in a mikdash ein chayavin aleph. They issue the erroneous ruling. They're not. They're not chayav paralel dash of darashel sebiut zibur. And so the mission here is assuming you know the mission in Hariot. It's very interesting. This mission is kind of like these two mission are kind of like just dropped in here. The ezo in mitzvah dasei she benida she chayav in aleph. So if you learn the mission in Hariot, you understand that the mission there juxtaposes mikdash where you're not chayav paralel. And Nida, where you are chaya par elam davar shel tzibur. So the Mishnah says, what is a mitzvah to say regarding Nida that Beitin would be chayav par elam davar shel tzibur if they gave an erroneous ruling about it? So haya mishamesh imatahora, a woman is having, I'm sorry, a man is having sexual relations with his wife, and she's tahora. The Amra, and she says in the middle of intercourse, need to meiti. Oh, I'm a Nida. I became a Nida. Uperash miad, and. He separated himself, meaning he disentangled himself from her immediately. Then he's then chayav. And he did that based on the ruling of the Beitin. The Beitin said that you have to separate yourself from a woman if she announces she's a nida. So the Beitin says that you're not allowed, the Beitin, you, halachically, you're not allowed to, a, per, a man is not allowed to withdraw while he's still erect because that's part of the sexual act. That's still pleasurable. So therefore, if a person did this, perash miyad, Based on the ruling of the Beitin that was wrong, Chayav is Chayav. Their Chayav, i.e., their Chayav Korban Halam Shalal Dabar Shal Tzibur. Why? Because the extraction, the person's pulling up man, the man removing himself from the woman during intercourse, his Yitzia is pleasurable, like Kibiato, like, like the thrusting. The removal and the thrusting are the same. So, therefore, if Beitin told him to do it, and no, there, then a basin instructed, gave a ruling that this is what a person should do. If a woman says, it became, she's tamay in the middle of intercourse, then their chayav, why? Because that's an erroneous ruling. Ella, what should he do? Ya'amod belidisha, ad shi'amuta a person should remain uh, still while he's uh, uh, engaged in intercourse until he, he loses his erection, and then he has to, he has to, Separate himself from his wife. Zeh say shevinida. That's what the Torah says that a man must do if he finds out his woman is a nida, and therefore Beitin issues a wrong ruling. The chayav par halam davar shall see bore. Again, I don't really know why the Mishnah went into this tangent regarding this Mishnah in Hariot about par halam. It's really interesting what it's doing there. I really have no idea. I'm open to your suggestions. You can email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate our learning to remember my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.